Hello there, I'm Black Bright and this is Love Island, the dark side of Love Island part two. Just finished watching it. I'm sure you have too, all you Love Islanders um, fans, and I am absolutely seething. Sleazeball Mike, meh. Might have a nice face on him, might look good, police officer. He hasn't got no integrity whatsoever. You know, I think it's really, really difficult for those girls because when you think about Leanne, now she's in there, she, it's a one day. I mean, in the real world, I know that you go on there and you know what you're signing up for. But in the real world, you can't expect to be all over somebody in one day. And he's trying to make her feel as though there's something wrong with her because she's not all over him. And even though he's saying to her, oh, it's all right, I, you know, I'll get to know you, you know, it, all that bullshit. Then he's telling someone else, oh, she's reserved. Bloody hell, one day. And then the next thing, if, it, if that's the thing with these blokes in the Love Island villa. They're kind of saying, they're, they're sending mixed messages because on the one hand they're saying, oh, that if, if they don't give it up straight away, they're more or less saying, oh, you know, she's, she's too reserved if they don't want to kiss him straight away. And then the next thing they're calling them all the names under the sun. I'm not saying that's, that's what he's doing, but indirectly that's what he's doing. He thinks... If he's now with one of the twins, whether it's Jess or Eve, I don't know, I think it was Jess that took him. You know, I think he thinks he's going to get his end off. That's what I think. And I think he's left Leanne thinking, oh yeah, she's a little faithful black girl. She'll stay there. She'll wait until I come back. And what else I don't like is that he's made it look like um, he's told Leanne the truth. He didn't tell Leanne the truth. Yes, he told her that... Um, he'll be waiting for her. you know he's gonna he wants to find out about her but then he's telling Jess oh you know I'm open you can take me if you want I've told Leanne I want to get to know her he wants to have his cake and eat it mate I don't like him I don't like him he's got that little sneaky look I think he's arrogant I think oh I don't know how, oh, it's so, it's so, I don't know, maybe I'm just looking into it too much. I really, maybe that's what I'm doing. But I just think, you know, at least be up front. If, even if he'd said to Leanne, look, you know, that girl kissed me twice. Um, I have told her I am open. You know, I'll still get to know you, but I am open to um, get to know um, the twins. So, um, instead of saying to her, look into my eyes and, you know, you're the person I'm interested in. You're the person I want. Bullshit. She's not the person you want. You want to keep her safe because you think she's a little good girl. That's all that is. And then she opens up her heart to you. She gives you a decent kiss. So you say. And it's not enough. It's not enough. At least with Callum. Callum said he was happy with Shauna. They still took him, but at least that's what he said. And I just think, oh. Well, I've got no comparisons between black and white in this in this section. I just wanted to make sure I'd um, said what I wanted to say. Um, oh, yeah. When he said to Leanne, this is Mike to Leanne, all that psycho babble about, oh, have you been hurt by a man? I mean, what does he think? Yesterday it was, how many men you slept with? Now today it's, have you been hurt by a man? Has some man damaged you? I mean, I'm going to find out about this guy. I really think there's something a bit weird about him. He's asking the most weirdest questions. They're not questions of somebody who's concerned their questions on how do I get to break down her walls has somebody hurt her therefore if somebody's hurt her I can try and use this tactic I think he's very tactical and I guess policemen are tactical 
but I think he's very tactical, trying to break down our walls just in case those twins never picked him. I hope he, I hope they bloody dump him. And you know what? When it was closing, I heard him say something about his forty-six fifty. I bet he don't even like the girl. I bet she ain't giving it up, and I bet he gets bored, and then he's going to want to sneak back to Leanne. But you know what? The twins are going to tell her what, because you know what's going to happen. She's going to tell the twins. This is what I foresee. She's going to tell the twins. Why did you take Mike when you knew that we were trying to work it out? And they're going to say, oh, well, Mike said to us, Oh, you know, we're, I'm open for a relationship. I'm open to um, get to know you. I don't mind if you choose me. I've told Leanne that, you know, I'm interested in getting to know her. But, oh, I'm quite happy to go with you guys. So it's going to come right back in his face. Good. And he's already made his mark. I mean, yeah, you're going to get some girls who go in there who just want a black dick. But basically, they just want to uh, fulfill this, bl um, this black um, myth that they have or whatever they want to call it you are going to get girls they're not going to care whether or not he's this some other girl so he'll probably make it through very very good looking guy I don't think he's got much scruples very disappointed in his behavior and that's all I've got to say bye